वेलकम टू ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ एप्रल गॉड ब्लेसिंग सुप्रीम फादर वी हे से इज दैट मे यू बी ट्रूली लविंग एंड मर्स्ड इन लव फॉर गॉड एंड रिमेन एब्जॉर्ब इन मीटिंग हिम एंड दैट इज वॉट इज द हाइस्ट स्टेज द साइन ऑफ लव दैट हैज बीन रिमेंबर्ड इज दैट ऑल दो देर आर टू बींग्स दे बिकम कम्बाइंड इन वन फॉर्म दैट मीन्स टू सोल्स बिकम सोल मेट्स इन सिंपल टर्म्स दिस इज नोन एज बींग मर्ज्ड devotees have referred to this stage of love as being merged or absorbed to merge in love is a stage however instead of a stage they consider the identity of souls to finish for all time so merging with god is thought by devotees as we getting over with or we are totally inexistent after we merge into god so one is you merge into somebody's love or you are in love with someone and your stage is all about that your heart your mind everything is connected and god wants us to reach that level he says i am immortal you are immortal so you merging into me makes you mortal that means your complete uh, reality or your complete existence is over as soon as you enter into me and i am an energy i am an eternal being who doesn't break into parts that's why soul is also mentioned in bhagavad gita as indestructible imperishable so that means it cannot be destroyed it can not perish into different different parts it cannot be destroyed it cannot be broken into different parts so god cannot be broken into different parts he is a soul that's why param atma atma means soul supreme soul and we also souls we also don't perish or we also don't get destroyed so god says to merge in love is a stage however instead of a stage they consider the identity of souls to finish for all time when you children become absorbed in meeting the father or your spiritual beloved supreme father is a spiritual beloved you then become equal to him equal to him in his energy in his vibrations so there's a difference between merging into him and there's a difference between merging in love with him om shanti